Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of the Ortolino Company. Welcome, friends of Japanese Prince. My name is Dieter, Dieter Manshura, and I'm the owner and manager of a little family company located in southern Germany, in the state of Bavaria, here in the southern port near the Bavarian Alps. And we've sold mostly Japanese prints in weekly online auctions since 2001. I repeat, 2001 in weekly online auctions. And we produce these videos um, usually about the subject of Japanese art, Japanese art prints, and more recently, very often, also about contemporary printmakers from all over the world, not only Japanese printmaker. But today it's purely Japanese. I want to talk about Shotei, uh, a printmaker, artist from the first half of the 19th century, from the so-called Shinhanga art movement. Shotei is also known under the name of Hiroaki Takahashi. And that's not his real name, no. He was born as Takahashi Katsutaro. Well, you must know, um, Japanese artists, sometimes even still today, they have the habit to take a special artist name and to, uh, but that's a stupid thing, to change these artists' names every now and then to the confusion of art friends and art collectors and art historians and writers of books about these artists. Our next auction, my friend, is a so-called Shinhanga art, mo art movement auction. It's the auction number 1745 and it will start um, tomorrow and tomorrow is August, August 7, 2022. And in this auction, we have 12 prints, no, 13 prints, 12, I oh, don't know. Well, something like that, mm -hmm. yeah. 12 or 13 prints by Shote. And we now will show you six out of these which uh, will be offered in the coming auction and which you can buy in this auction, okay? Shote was born in 1871 and he died in 1945. He began to work for the Tokyo print publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo in the year 1907. And it is said that by 1923 he had made some 500 print designs for the publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo. However, in 1923 was the great Kanto earthquake, which um, destroyed 90% of Tokyo, um, especially by the fires which raged after the outbreak of the earthquake for two or three years. And these fires also destroyed the office, the studio of Watanabe Shotsaburo. And because the blocks and the unsold prints were stored in the studio, also they were completely destroyed. Therefore, these early works, um, if still available at all, are rather rare um, today. Shota is said to have produced some 250 new designs after the earthquake, and most for these in cooperation with Matanabe Shotsaburo, but he worked also for other publishers. Shotsaburo had to 
restored from scratch with his artists and Shote was one of them and the carvers and the printers after this earthquake. However, they recovered um, pretty fast according to the literature. You find Shote also um, under different names. I was already mentioned the name game before. Uh, the artist used the name Shote uh, from 1907 until 1922 uh, and later Hiroaki or, and now comes a new name, Kome, or all these after 1922. But on the internet and in the literature you find the artist mostly under the name of Shote. So remember Shote or maybe Hiroaki Takahashi and forget the rest. Art critics, my friends, see Shote a little bit in the shadow of these great Shinhanga artist giants like Hazui Kawase or Hiroshi Yoshida. Uh, the theory is that Shote was well, limited by the rigid management of the publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo. No, this guy, he was the, made the mentor of the Shinanga art movement, some even say the inventor. He had a very clear idea what a print should look like um, to sell well. And um, he, he had a, a business model that did not try that was not limited to the Japanese market. On the contrary, he tried to, com to accommodate uh, especially foreigners, Western foreigners. Most of these Shinanga prints were exported uh, to the United States, also a little bit to Europe. And Watanabe um, thought, well, that foreigners like a romantic view of Japan, old Japan, um, something like this, yeah, a beautiful landscape, old farmhouses, yeah, uh, country people who run around in kimonos and traditional clothes and with a Japanese lantern. You will never see a factory on a Shinhanga um, print, on the contrary. Uh, it's a kind of Disneyland, um, Japan which um, Watanabe Shotsaburo favored and well, kind of forced his artists to produce such prints. And this may have limited, of course, uh, the artistic freedom of people like um, Shote. Therefore, he's some, a little bit seen as a worker bee of um, the publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo. Anyway, Shote died on February 11, 1945 of pneumonia. The year 1945 was the end of the Pacific War and the year when uh, the Americans dropped the first atomic bomb over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And uh, there was for a long time um, a rumor on the internet, maybe also in, on, in some other publications, I'm not quite sure, that Shote may have, um, may have perished, may have died um, while being in Hiroshima um, as a consequence of the atomic bomb. Uh, the reason for this rumor may have been that his daughter had lived in Hiroshima um, over the recent years, it turned out that this was not true. Um, this is quite clear. Uh, according uh, to an interview with Shote's uh, uh, widow, he died clearly on February 11, 1945 of pneumonia. Overall, he's a very important Shinhanga landscape artist. In my view, one of the most important ones. Um, 
in the odd market regarding prices, he's clearly, in my view, undervalued compared to Hasui or Hiroshi Yoshida. Um, his prints are excellent and his landscape prints uh, can keep up with those of other great Shinanga artists, also with Hasui and also with Hiroshi Yoshida. So uh, remember, uh, an excellent bargain and opportunity in the market. And over the recent um, years, even you can say decades, uh, good prints from the Shinanga art movement have steadily uh, increased the prices, the value over these years. And also, also Hiroshi, uh, also um, Shote uh, makes no exemption to this. What is Shin Hanga? Shin and Hanga, two Japanese words, and literally it means new prints. The Shin Hanga art movement from the first half of the 20th century was a renewal, a kind of renaissance of the old way of traditional Japanese printmaking from the 18th and 19th century, from the times of such artists like Hiroshige, Utamaro, or Hokusai, you may have heard of these names. And um, the Shinanga art movement kept this old principle of teamwork. These old Japanese prints, they were the work not just of one man, but of four persons. There was first the artist, and the artist made only the designs. Well, guys like Hiroshige, Utamaro, Kunisara, they never carved, they never printed. No, for carving and printing, they had artisans, a skilled carver and a skilled printer. And finally, the fourth person in this teamwork, that was the publisher. The publisher, um, that was the businessman. Well, he took the commercial risks, he paid the carvers and printers and, and, and the artists, and he was responsible for selling. And Shinanga kept this principle in contrast to a new movement which is called Sosaka Hang Sosako Hanga, which stands literally for the word creative prints. And these were Japanese printmakers who were very much influenced by modern Western art by guys like Picasso and, 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 and others. And they thought, well, Shinanga, uh, that is not real art. The artist has to do everything himself. Not only the design, he has to cough and he has to print. Yeah. And when you're a little bit familiar with these two art movements, Shinhanga and Sosaku Hanga, and you see a Sosaku Hanga um, print, you immediately recognize it. Yeah. They're completely different, technically a rather challenged, quite charming, different subjects, very different. And Shinhanga, this is something like that, on a very high technical level, incredibly. In the history of Japanese printmaking, the technical level of printmaking has never been higher than during the Shinhanga art period. However, they did not just continue this old way I spoke of renewal, of renaissance. They introduced some new features which they had seen um, from European artists, especially Impressionism and here especially Post-Impressionism. For instance, Shinhanga artists introduced Western perspective. Well, look at old prints by Kunisada, for instance. They're all two-dimensional, no perspective. Uh, Shinhanga artists also introduced uh, shadows, yeah. You will never see any shadows on a Kunisada uh, print, impossible. Um, and they introduced what the Impressionists did, the discovery of light and the effects of light and, and shadows um, in their artworks, which um, 
gives a much more lively uh, and realistic um, impression, especially this, this place with the effect of life. Well, this is so fantastic in Shinhanga prints. Well, here oh, you have an exception. There are no shadows um, cast by these two figures. But remember, but here, yeah, you have here the shadow, um, the reflection of the house and the illuminated windows is shadows on the lake. Um, another trick of the Shinhanga designers, uh, creating more atmosphere by overprinting. Well, for instance, um, look at clouds in the Shinhanga print and look at clouds, how they are shown in old Japanese prints, completely different. The Shinhanga art movement was very, very successful, um, especially outside Japan, which I already mentioned. Many of these prints were exported to the United States uh, and partly also to Europe, but mainly to the Americans. They liked all well, these um, romantic uh, looking Japanese prints, a kind of Disneyland, but what's wrong about it? Well, nothing. Our next auction will be a Shinhanga only auction. It will be the auction number 1745 and it will begin um, on Sunday. This is August 7 at 8 p.m. local time. This is Central European time. Well, we are usually six hours ahead of U.S. East Coast. And this auction will offer overall 44 Shinhanga prints. Many, by the way, very outstanding. There are a few prints by Toshi Yoshida. You will never have seen these designs, yeah. I was surprised myself. This is a fantastic consignment. I don't tell you. Um, the source, of course. There will also be a, a very rare and famous print by Hiroshi Yoshida, uh, the father of Toshi Yoshida, and one by Elizabeth Keith, one by Helen Hyde, and, well, these 12 or 13 prints, sorry, I don't remember it so well anymore, by Shotei, also called Hiroaki Takahashi. Take a look at our auction catalog. We'll be pleased to see you wading through our catalog and not only wading, no, purchasing in this auction bid on these prints. These are really, there are wonderful, exceptional prints in this Shinanga auction you will see. Okay, until then, um, take care of yourself. And apart from that, I hope to see you for our next video. Goodbye, my friends.